Let's talk today about one-shot morphers. In SPD, we were introduced to the one-hour morpher that was used by Cat, who transformed into the Cat Ranger. Now, normally this would have been Decker Swan, and I'm sure she's in Decker Ranger a lot more than normal, but we only got the one-hour morpher, which, again, would have been cool to see. Now, this is where it got me thinking. What happens if we had this technology much later on after we've passed the SPD kind of time hold, hold the time threshold that SPD was set in. Using this sort of technology for future rangers, the rangers that want to try and prove themselves or kind of give them the ability maybe to test things out, could this be used for anyone? And I generally think it would be, and it'd be kind of really cool. It's a one hour morpher, that is it. Once the power is gone, that's mainly it or maybe it could be reactivated if the person actually carried on through. And actually thinking that I didn't put this in the script, maybe it could be used as a punishment at the same time. I mainly think that you could give this to anyone to kind of show the ability. Are they suitable to be a ranger even if they've gone through all the training? Or is it a bad mistake that they could do? You, the, the possibilities are endless. They are endless, let me say that. Maybe you have someone that goes through the training. They want to be a ranger. They need to be a ranger. But when they are given the powers and they're sent into battle and they're like, I don't like this, rather than having maybe a morpher that's linked to them, like DNA lock, like Time Force, or mainly they people go like, oh, I want to stick about and feel bad, you know, that they have to stick about. Maybe they could just be like, well, this is a one hour morpher. I don't want to be a power range anymore. I want to kind of give that away. You know, I I'm done with it. And maybe it could be like, yeah, okay, there you go. You're, you're fine. You can have this and you can kind of like push it. And that that's it mainly. It's, it's, I think it's a really cool kind of technology. And I'm kind of glad that they introduced this in SPD. I know that in SPD, I think they did combat training or something like that, where they had the powers. Now, you don't have to give out powers to anyone. You put the cadets in a training simulation, go, here you go, you've got one hour, this is your morphers, or you've got two hours, depending on what you want to do, as in like a time frame, not the two hour morpher. But you give them that and then see what happens. At the end of the day, you go, yeah, that power really, really suits you, or, uh, no, it doesn't. And you can just effectively move on and be like, sorry, cadet, you didn't make the cut. Off you go. And you don't have to give that old morpher because it's completely dead. Now, what would be the pros and cons of this one shot or one hour morpher? I think there'd be quite a few. You'd effectively be able to connect to the morphing grid to make you stronger, faster, you know, have that sort of power. You could join the Power Rangers very quickly if they needed it at any point, and you could have a squad of Power Rangers just kind of turning up with these one-shot morphers. Can you imagine, like, just the last boss, like, oh my god, I'm going to defeat all six of you, and then suddenly you've got, like, 30 people just rock up and go, we've got an hour, come on. So what are the cons? Mainly, I think that you'd only be able to morph for a set amount of time, and you'd always be on the edge knowing that you've only got uh, an hour left. You wouldn't be able to summon your Zord, which, again, would be bummer. Can you imagine that you summon a Megazord halfway through, like, you're a part of the leg or an arm, and it just disappears or it powers down. You're like, oh God, what's going on? Maybe the other Zords could power it, but effectively you wouldn't be able to summon a Zord. And I think the biggest thing would be that even if you're not compatible being a Power Ranger, you would get addicted to the power. And I think that would be a really kind of bad thing. Anyway, I just wanted to make a video on this. I think the one hour Morpher would be kind of really cool. I would love to have that. Can you imagine having multiple of them in like kind of a suitcase or something like that, that you could just bust out a Morpher and be like, hey, here's 30, 30 of them. That's at least one episode, <laughs> one Morph per episode or something like that. But yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool talking about a one shot Morpher or one hour, should I say. Now, your question of the day, if you were to have your own morpher for one hour, what would the pros and cons be for you? Let me know down below in those comments. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Channel を support してくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。